Are you shady? What's going on, you guys? It's be your boy Scotty. I'm here for a tag video. Now, I don't always interact with the tag videos. I've been tagged a couple of times, but I've never known how to really do these videos. But being that my fellow member of the Justice League, Really Be TV, shout out to her, tagged me in this video, I'm going to go ahead and do it, and I'm going to participate. I said I want to do more with this channel. I want to make more videos, do more content for you guys, more than I've done in the last couple of years. So I'm going to do that by starting off with this. Before I start, though, I already know who I want to tag. Um, I tag Color Me Pink, Jamar84, and um, Jamie That's Me. I'm going to tag those three. Um, if you watch Color Me Pink, let her know that I tagged her in this. Um, if you watch Jamie That's Me, I want you guys to let her know as well that I, that I tagged her in this as well. So, um, it's like 10 questions, so we're going to get started, shall we? Let's go. Are you shady? I don't think I'm shady. I really don't think I'm shady. I'm not even trying to be funny. I'm not trying to be oblivious. I'm not even trying to play coy. I don't think I'm shady because I'm way too straightforward to people to be shady. Like, a lot of the stuff that I be saying, people be thinking I'm throwing shade at a person. But I'm really just saying what it is. Like, it's no shade. It's the damn truth. So, I think I'm way too straightforward to be shady. Do you screen calls or do you just pick up? I would be lying if I said I just pick up. I look at that phone and I will let that motherfucker ring. Like, I don't really like to talk on the phone that much. I don't really like to FaceTime that much. I'm more of a texting type of person because I don't really like to interact with humans. I don't like to hear humans' voices a lot of the time. So, it's like I really have to be in the mood to talk on the phone. Like, if I don't want to talk on the phone with you, I don't want to talk on the phone with you. It's nothing against you. I just don't really like doing I don't know. i just rather not do that. Like... We can talk on the phone sometimes, but sometimes I really don't want to hear nobody's voice. Like, I don't want you to call me. Like, just text me. You know, I don't want to have no meaningless conversation about shit. Like, we could talk. But like, because a lot of times people call me, they could have texted me the shit that they're calling me about. So, so, I let that fucking phone ring until it can't fucking ring no more. Bitch, I'll call you back when I feel like it. Especially if I not already made it clear I don't want to talk. Especially people that call me. Early in the morning, before noon, if I say don't call me before noon on my off day, don't call me before noon, bitch, I'm not picking up no fucking phone. Oof. Oof. <sighs> Let me just calm down, go to the next question. A scale 1 to 10, how much do you love to spend time alone? A 10, okay? I am like an introvert, but an extrovert at the same time, if you get my drift, like, I love people, I love to be around people, but I hate people, and I don't want to be around people most of the time, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? Like, I love being by myself. Like, I have fun by myself. When I'm by myself, I can write my books, I can write my songs, I can do my videos alone, I can jam to my music by myself. Like, I get a I get a natural high off being alone. Like I don't have to be around a bunch of people to have fun. I can have fun just sitting in my room by myself, listening to my music, jamming, singing along by myself, being on Snapchat. Like I don't really have to be around a lot of people. I don't like to go into crowded spaces. Like I hate big ass crowds. Um, especially with this social distancing thing that we're doing right now, I'm fine with it. I don't even like being around people. I like that enough to even be mad because a club or a bar shut down. I could drink by myself and get drunk by myself and be fine with that. I don't even need that. The only thing that I'm uh, upset about is the nail shop closing because of these. You know, I got to keep my eyebrows plucked and tucked and fresh. But other than that, yeah, that's it. How do you handle pop-up visits? I don't handle them. <laughs> I don't. You better tell me before you come over here. Like, you just don't pop up at my house. You tell me when you're coming. 
Don't do no bullshit like, oh, I was just in the city and I just decided that I want to pop up at... No, you let me know when you're coming. You know what I mean? Like, no, no pop-ups. Because if I'm... If you pop up at my house, ain't no telling what I'm doing. I could be doing a video. I could be writing. And I don't like for people to interrupt me while I'm in my creative zone. You know what I mean? That's the main reason why I don't like pop-ups. I don't even like for people to call me while I'm writing and doing videos. Like, if you interrupt my creative space, I'm annoyed by your ass. And that's just what it is. So... No pop-ups, please. Do not pop up in my house. How many extreme um, pet peeves do you have? Now, look. As an Aquarius, we have a lot of pet peeves. A lot of things annoy us. So, I really can't give you no number on how many extreme pet peeves I have. Because I have a lot of pet peeves. Just, I just really do. What's your number one pet peeve? Faking, fakeness. I, I, I can't. I could die from this shit. I do not like fake people at all. I do not like fake people. I hate people that says one thing and do another. I don't like turncoats. I don't like people who act one way around you and then when you're not around they act another way. Or they act this way around you but act this way when there's other people around. Like, I'm a very consistent person. So my thing about it is I want consistent people around me as well. I don't need people that's inconsistent. Like an on and off attitude. Bitch, if you're going to be one way, be the same way at all times. Like, no. Because I don't like when people be cool with you. And then when they get around other people, they want to show the fuck out. And then put on this persona that's not even them. I don't like that shit. Like, keep it all the way real with me. Keep it all the way 100 with me. Be consistent with me. Don't do no fuck shit with me. Because, no. I don't like that. So, inconsistency, rather, is really the most big, the biggest pet peeve. So, I can't even say fakeness. Inconsistent people are just the most, the biggest pet peeve for me. Like, don't, don't say one thing and do another. Don't act one way and act another. Mm -mm, don't do that with me. What is the worst gift you ever received? I never really get any bad gifts. The only bad gift you could give me is bad sex. That's really the bad, the worst gift that you could ever give me. Because I'm very appreciative of everything people give me. But I can't appreciate bad sex. How often do you find yourself in tears? Little do y'all know, I'm not a crier. Like, I'm probably the most non-sensitive person that you, you will ever know. Like, a lot of my friends give me a lot of flack about not being sensitive or compassionate. And... I don't feel like I'm insensitive and I don't feel like I'm not compassionate. I just show my my um, sensitivity in a different way. I'm just a little bit hard, harder than most. So, and you know, that is a part of being an Aquarius too. Like, I'm just emotionally detached, so to speak. Like, it doesn't mean, like, just because I'm not crying don't mean that I don't care. It's just that I don't show emotion like that. Like, a person could be crying in front of me and I'll be like, you know what I mean? Like, so, I don't cry often. I really have to be hurt by something in order for me to cry. And this it. I don't cry like that. How long did your worst relationship last? I won't say that this was a relationship. It was more so of a situationship. And it lasted for eight months. And, um, the thing about it was we started off as friends and we started dating. And the thing about it is, um, when we started dating, we went out on our very first date. Everything was cool. He treated me like no man has ever treated me. He wanted to die on me. You know, he did all of that shit for me. The very next day, I found, the very next week, rather, the communication slowed the fuck down. He became very inconsistent. And then I found out he was engaged to another man. And I was like, wow. You know what I mean? Like, Wow. That's really going down like that. You know what I mean? So I was really hurt by that. Then the next month the engagement was over with. You know, and I thought it was hilarious because of, of how he treated me. And I reached out to him and um, we had a conversation. I told him exactly how I felt and he apologized to me. And he cried and all of that stuff. And I felt like it was very sincere. But then uh, we went out again. Um, he wanted to start over and make things right with me, so we went out on another date, and it was cool. Um, we went out to this nice little restaurant, I stayed the night with him, no sex, because I wasn't finna have sex with him, and, um, the very next day he took me back home, and everything was cool, everything was kosher, but then that same day, when the same day he dropped me back off at home, he had his ex, he had took a picture of him laying in the bed with his ex-boyfriend. So I'm like, I just left mode. Like, are you serious? You know what I mean? And then 
about two weeks after that, him and his ex were back together. And they were engaged. But this wasn't the same man he was just engaged to a month ago. This was a whole nother man. But this was just a man that we all knew him to be with for a long time. Who is not one of my best friends. <laughs> Ain't this funny. Then they broke up on... That was like in October. So they broke up on Christmas Eve of 2014. He called me crying about it. And you know everything. You know I Even though I could have been an asshole to him. I wasn't. And then um, we started back being cool. My birthday came around in February. He wanted me to... Um, he wanted to spend some time with me for my birthday. So he took me out of town. Um, we, um, he bought everything. He paid for the room. He paid for my food. He bought me clothes. He bought me shoes. He bought me everything I would have wanted for my birthday. He did. Like, he took care of me the whole weekend. We got back home. He dropped me off. Everything was kosher. I'm thinking everything was fine. But then, he started acting funny with me. Started being real shady. Wasn't talking to me. And then... Maybe two weeks down the line, I look up on Facebook and he's engaged to a third man in eight months. They wanted up getting married and then they wanted up getting divorced. And I haven't talked to that boy since. Who ended the relationship and did y'all remain friends? So we did not remain friends. Um, you could really say that he ended the relationship because he the one who got engaged to somebody else, not me. So you can you might as well say that he ended the whole situation, to be honest. He did that. So, um, yeah... I have nothing. We we could never be friends after that. Like, he did way too much, and we would never be friends. So, yeah, that's really the basis of that. So, um, yeah, this is my tag video. I hope I wasn't too long-winded at all. But um, I really enjoyed doing this. So, um, make sure you like, rate, comment, subscribe. Share this video. And, um, yeah, thank you, Really BTV, for tagging me in this. And like I said, I'm tagging Jamar84, Color Me Pink, and Jamie That's Me. With that being said, you guys, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.